I think it's only when you grow up you appreciate how fantastic your parents are, but when you're a teenager you just want to get away from them. And I would actually draw a parallel um, in that, you know, attitude towards your parents and the same towards college. It's only when you move away from it and you look back and you see, gosh, they were the credentials that set me up to succeed, you know, in the working world. As I go around the country in, in my new role and I'm talking to farmers and farmer representative groups, it does have a credibility factor to be able to say, you know what, I, I did the Ag Science degree. How I ended up in agricultural science really um, stemmed from my hobby interest. Um, I'm very passionate about uh, horses and horse riding and uh, when I was 16 thought I wanted to be an equine vet uh, and was told if I started the Ag Science degree and still felt I wanted to be an equine vet that might be an option after two years of the degree I could switch into veterinary. Being really honest, I started the degree thinking I don't know where this is going to take me but I'll go with it and see, see where I end up. Uh, some people you know, felt they had a great dent towards um, economics and business and chose the uh, agribusiness sector. Other people really wanted to go more the animal route and chose animal husbandry. Other people went down the forestry route. And I myself um, felt that food, the production of food, the consumption of food um, was something that interested me. We are the generic marketing house on behalf of the industry. What attracted me to the National Dairy Council was uh, the idea that I could take all my experience from the soft drinks industry and apply it to the dairy industry where I see huge opportunity first and foremost in the area of growth you know I think Ireland is, is revisiting the the era of the 70s where agriculture is very much at the fore there would be 19,000 active dairy farmers uh, in the Republic of Ireland it's a big employer and um, every euro that is earned through agriculture 80% of that euro stays within the domestic economy. I think the, the cradle to grave usage of dairy products is, is unique when you compare it to, to its competitive set or, or other food products that you would work on. For me, coming into, as I say, a portfolio that is just nutritionally so good for you, I'm, I'm shocked at how often I have to respond to a lot of misinformation. What surprises me more than anything else are the number of myths and misconceptions that we have to respond to on a weekly basis. The NDC is very much leading the way on this, is to try and educate teenagers on the role of dairy in their diet and promote the consumption of dairy so that they get the goodness of, of, of calcium to help their bone growth to avoid osteoporosis in their 50s. But it, it's a big challenge. So if, if you lose a teenage girl, you won't win her back again for about a decade until she herself becomes a mum and then suddenly remembers all the great attributes of dairy. So we have a real challenge there. It is vital for there to be substantial R&D investment and an innovation pipeline. And a great example of that is you take whey protein, which you know, two decades ago would have been dumped because the application of it um, you know, wasn't identified through R&D and innovation. In fact, whey protein is a vital input into things like sports drinks, um, uh, muscle promotion, um, medical care and powders. So suddenly, you know, you're getting into a much higher value end of the equation. Um, so the more we can specialise into areas like that, which are much higher value, um, the more successful the industry will be and the stronger the industry will be. I tend to hire for attitude and build for capability. I think attitude is, is incredibly important. Don't feel that the choice you make restricts you to a very narrow path. You only become enlightened as you go through the degree programme and come out the other end. And then I came back in 2007 and uh, started to go for walks in and around the campus and I couldn't get over how much it had progressed and changed and I think it has a wonderful balance of academia as well as social life.